to formally begin, we'll be talking about, uh, well, first and foremost, I want to welcome everyone to CEO Insights Asia Executive Series, Principles of Scaling. Today's topic is about the innovation network. And the pinaka key message for this talk is how to turn your company into an innovation network, uh, uh, an invention factory, right? Now, the reason why we do this on a weekly basis every Friday at 10 a.m. is simply this. We want to install DNA principles that scale organizations. Ang pinaka end game natin, why we do this routinely is to be able to help the participants and later yung mga viewers natin and yung uh, ating mga listeners ng podcast to extract a principle or an idea or an insight that they can immediately apply into their day-to-day operations. Practical tayo rito. You know, this is designed to really provide intensive CEO leadership education. So uh, with that, uh, our focus for this month is about purpose. So don't imiikot yung uh, ano natin, conversation natin for the entire week, uh, sorry, for the entire month. It's about infusing ideas that build lasting companies. We'll talk about uh, world-class business principles and then world-class business practices. And last but not the least, we'll talk about world-class business people. A quick overview uh, of our um, series we talk about in week one, the game changer how to turn your enterprise into one that changes, disrupts the industry that your company is in. Last week, we talked about the learning nexus. We want to transform our enterprise into a learning organization. Today, we'll talk about the innovation network. Basically, this is an extension of what we discussed last week. We'll talk about how to turn all those learnings into actionable items to create innovations and create uh, new businesses, new strategies, and whatnot. And last but not the least, next week, we'll talk about the leadership accelerator. Kasi dito nakasalalay lahat eh. Yung how you disrupt your industry, how you become a learning organization, how you become an innovation network relies largely on how many leaders you have in your enterprise. Okay, so a quick announcement before we proceed to our session. Uh, first, once again, to remind everyone that in the event that you missed this, walang problema yon, okay lang yon. You can once again view this sa ating mga social media pages. We are official partners of Bounce Back PH, sa Bounce Back Network page. Ang CEO natin na kagabing na-interview, pasensya na boss, hindi tayo naka-attend kasi ano eh, mag, ano, magdamag kami literal, nag-session ng uh, Sellers Hub team, no? yung mancom ng Sellers Hub. Uh, we we um, had a conversation from 2 p.m. to 2 a.m. literal. Diba? Uh, baliwan nga yun in our terms. So shout out, nandito ang team natin ngayon. So uh, you can view the video, the replay, live replay sa Bounce Back Network every Saturday at uh, 8 p.m. as well as uh, page natin sa CEO Insights Asia. Sa Spotify, meron tayong uh, 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 channel doon. Nandun din lahat from season 1 up to season 2. Ayan. And then Google Podcast. And so on. Next, ang CEO Circle natin formally nag-launch na siya. So for the men, okay, every Tuesday at 11 a.m., you can join uh, Romano Founder and CEO Circle na si Errol Ginto. So, yung circle niya ay puro mga bo- puro men, no? Uh, yung mga ladies natin is being led by our managing partner, Bianca, Tuesdays at 11 a.m. All you need to do is just show up sa, uh, and then uh, put on your learning hat. So, the principles of scaling every Friday, ang objective neto is to provide instruction of the principle, but where the intensive discussion happens in the circle. So that's where we grow because we get to exchange ideas and uh, exchange principles that na we extract natin from the talk and from the reading that we ni Miss Mel. Yan. So with that, hataw na tayo, no? Ano ba yung mga agenda sa pag-uusapan natin today? Lalo na ta, nandito tayo ngayon sa napakalamig at napaka-press kong uh, 
office natin courtesy of uh, seller sub team salamat uh, sir BK and the team no para sa pa-hotel niyan okay so agenda defining innovation we'll define what innovation means we'll talk about the types of innovation uh, we'll discuss how breakthroughs happen and then we'll do some corporate case studies and last but not the least we'll get practical so if you are now excited to talk about the rest of the topic for today I want you to type the company, the name of your company, and then sabihin nyo, I am ready. Seller Sub, I am ready. Uh, uh, Romano, I am ready. Dun sa ating 12,000 viewers and uh, participants for today. Ayan. All right. Sige. So, let's start. I always begin the session with a question. So, the question is, why in your definition is, you know, what, what, pala yan. Sorry, so, <laughs> naging why, ano? What, yan. What in your definition is innovation and why is it important? Sige, so, nakita ko dito si si Matthew. Nandito, si Matthew. Sir Matthew, umpisahan na kita. Ikaw ang unang biktima. Ayan, si, si Sir Matthew ang unang-unang mag-share kung ano sa kanyang perspective ang innovation and why is it important. Hello sir pa, good morning po. Good morning sir. So para sa akin yung uh, innovation is a uh, parang pag-upgrade mo ng sarili mm-hmm. mo or pag-upgrade ng isang uh, gadgets. Uh, mm-hmm. Para sa akin importante ito kasi yun nga, uh, yung mundo natin is wala namang permanente din kundi yung pagbabago. So kailangan lang kailangan lang natin lagi mag-adapt dun sa mga pagbabago na yun in order for us na makasabay dun and para masustain natin yung hinahanap nating uh, success. Alright, sige. Okay, pick the next one. So, siguro po si Sir Ian. Okay. <laughs> Boss, kao yan. Go, sir. Sir Ian. Going once, wala ata. Sir Matt, pili ka ng iba pa. Siguro si Ma'am Lai na lang po. Okay. Miss Lai, nandito ka pala. Good morning. Good morning. Bakit naman ako? <laughs> okay lang. Um, for me, uh, innovation is... Um, uh, tama yung sinabi kanina, it's uh, either or one could be your own um, standard upgrade, process upgrade uh, mm-hmm. for the benefit of um, uh, the company you're mm-hmm. working for. Right. Para sa akin yun ang innovation. Mm-hmm. Why is it important? In, uh, being innovative uh, is very important kasi ano yan eh, of course, uh, ang innovation starts with, ano eh, uh, based sa experience ko to, sorry, ah, medyo mahaba na naman to. <laughs> Hindi. Um, oh, nga eh. <laughs> relax, relax. Mamaya pa tayo hataw. <laughs> oh, hindi, hindi kasi. Um, in my, ano, in my experience as um, uh, an HR professional, ano, uh, very important talaga yung innovation kasi may makikita kang mga processes that uh, are in place but are not effective. So you have to innovate. Yes. Uh, maraming kasali dito, learning and development, mga okay. ganyan, uh, strategies, mm-hmm. ganun. And then you can come up with um, something more innovative that could be very beneficial to your organization to streamline yung mga processes in order for ano for an organization or a team to be able to um meet expectations yeah. and deliver uh, positive results yep. all right so agree ako ron, no lalo na specifically doon sa part na some processes may no longer be effective you know uh kasi some processes are uh, effective in a certain time frame in a certain era, it might not be effective anymore. Hence, we need to innovate. All right. 
So let's be clear muna on what we uh, talk about uh, or what we mean when we talk about innovation. So this is from Wikipedia. Sabi niya dito, innovation is the practical implementation of ideas that result in the introduction of ano yung highlighted word paki type nga and uh, ano para makita ko na may engagement tayo ano yung highlighted red word yan the yes new goods or services or improvement in offering goods or services the point of innovation my view is to improve a certain situation whether it's a product or a service Yun ang point ng innovation. Because uh, for me, if you innovate, you created something new, but it doesn't improve the situation. That's not innovation for me. Diba? The point of you innovating or us innovating is to improve a certain circumstance, whether through our services, through our processes, through our practices, or through our products. Yes? So innovation is a very broad term. Yan. Maraming, marami tayong makukuha dyan. This is just simply Wikipedia. You can go to a lot of uh, dictionary or online business uh, almanac para makita mo kung anong definition ng innovation. Sure. The, I'm just gonna focus on the, the four. Right? Four types of innovation that I've encountered with. The first one is the product or service innovation. You know, something, a new product or a new service is being introduced And eventually, it will become common uh, practice or common uh, standard or normal na lang. Case in point is a smartphone. Before, like 20 years ago, if you have a, a cell phone, analog pa nga ang term na nun, di ba? The, 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 the prevailing brand back then was uh, uh, Nokia. Ayan. So before, there were Ericsson, there were Motorola. Pero if you are you have a, a Nokia phone, ba, big time ka. That was the iPhone of our generation, no? And then eventually na introduce ang smartphone. So that's uh, what you call a product or service innovation, di ba? The next part is, the next innovation is what you call strategy innovation. And PayPal is here because I, I love how they the strategize on acquiring new customers or growing their customer base in their early days. Okay? Ang ginawa nila nun, PayPal is founded by uh, Peter Thiel, Yeah, sila Elon Musk, they called the PayPal Mafia, sila LinkedIn, sila Reid Hoffman. And their strategy to grow their customer base, remember, this is a, ano pa, no? parang hindi pa mainstream ang internet neto. Their strategy is to pay people to sign up. So pag may nag-sign up, binabayaran nila ng, ano, ng, ng pera talaga, yung mga nagsasign up, if they are able to invite other people to use PayPal. You know, before they got acquired by eBay. Now, does it work? Probably. Uh, is it expensive? For sure. But that's what we call strategy innovation. You know, you're you're thinking of a strategy, new strategy to solve an old problem or an old situation. Ayan. Uh, ito naman, nakaka, ano to, uh, nakakatawang strategy ito na nakakainis. Okay, so Rocket Internet. Rocket Internet is a Berlin-based company. And their strategy is to basically clone mga tech startups. Seryoso. They, yan ang ano, sabi nga ng uh, isang article, they are a thorn in the Silicon Valley uh, founders. Kasi ang gagawin itong rocket internet, they will look at uh, what's going on in Silicon Valley and clone that exact technology. Ia-apply nila sa Berlin sa ano na sa Germany no. Uh, ano na yung mga tinray nilang i-cloud no? Or ano yung mga na-cloud nila? Meron silang YouTube, meron silang Twitter, meron silang Facebook and Airbnb. These are the things that they clone to name a few no. Kaya ano to eh, maraming buwisit dito sa rocket internet na to. And they don't care. They're shameless cloners. So that's their strategy. Okay, they they it's, it's not really um It's not really for me. It's not really good, but you can't deny it. It's working for them. So that's uh, what we call. Uh, that's what we mean when we say strategy innovation. Okay. Now there's also what you call business innovation. You know, you you innovate a new business, and uh, I'm not sure. I saw kanina Jason was joining here. So yan ang isa sa pinakamatindi Jason. Shout out sa yon. Isa sa pinakamatindi ng kailala ko. ng new business. Ayan, si Tito J. Right? So, business innovation, you 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 think of an old uh, 
product and then you innovate into making it something new look at look at a uh, grab no uh, look at starbucks for example diba it, it's a uh, it's coffee diba coffee shops has been in existence for like uh, for the longest but um why is it that starbucks is a uh, prevailing the when you say let's go grab coffee matic starbucks kaga diba because they were able to innovate the experience ganun din si grab diba may mga taxi and so on and they were able to find a space na to become a platform and same with Airbnb. And as you can see no, uh, may mga commonality, may common thread itong mga innovation na to, which we'll talk about in a few minutes. So there. Hey, by the way, Starbucks was a uh, um Il Gurnier, I think yung yung inspiration ni ano dyan, no? ni Howard Schultz when he went to Italy and there was this art of how to really um, serve the customers with coffee. He brought that home and uh, applied it, it uh, sa Starbucks. Okay. And last but not the least, ito yung ano, management innovation. Ito yung sort of uh, ano natin, technical forte natin. Yan ang hilig natin. No? How you manage your organization. And we'll bank on that for a few minutes, dan tayo magbe-base. Kasi, you can see later na this is the foundation of all those innovations. The strategy innovation, the product innovation, and then the um, business innovation. Okay, How you manage your organization will influence largely yung tatlong innovation na binanggit natin. Okay? So, let's do some corporate case studies. Okay? When we say management innovation, it means how you manage your business. And um, I'll share a few na mga practices on how uh, companies uh, install their uh, management innovation principles in their company. So, si GE, meron silang workout na tinatawa. So, how does this work? So, si GE, gagawin niya, before it was external consultant, they will get a consultant. They will post a problem sa isang whiteboard. And then the manager of that uh, department will move out, will go out of the room. And then the whole department will start pitching possible solutions to improve or to solve that problem. And then after a few hours, may mga action items na, babalik si manager at nakalatag na rin yung mga proposal, at ang gagawin lang ni manager, right there on the spot, it's a yes or a no. Ganun lang. Wala nang conversation. Gagawin ito, yes. etong uh, item number two, yes. etong item number three, no. Uh, because ganito, ganyan. But the idea is to um, uh, accelerate the decision making. So that's the GE workout practice. No? And it's being run in the department. It's run by teams. So, ganyan ang ginagawa natin sa GE Workout. Okay? They want to work out the problems you know, and solve the problems. How about IBM? Isang practice ni IBM is what you call the innovation jam. So, for three days, they will open the portal back in the early 2000s tong practice na to. And they will ask the employees of IBM to propose ideas on how to improve IBM the direction of the company. And remember, this is a global company. And um, you get uh, a lot of brains getting a lot of ideas, tapping the brain power of your entire workforce to get ideas. And then after three days, isasara yon. Uh, I believe it was open also for the family members of IBMers. They can pitch ideas and then the team will collate those ideas and find themes. And then from there, they will identify what can they act upon based on those idea pool. So yan ang, uh, another example of uh, practice of how people, uh, how IBM get um, to, how they turned uh, IBM into an innovation network. How about Dell? Reverse naman to ni IBM. So, so kung si... Si IBM, it's all about getting the brain power of the, the people for ideas. Si Del naman, merong idea storm. Customers naman. So you can go to the website of Dell and then this is, sabi nga niya ng tagline nila, where your ideas reign. Okay? You get to view all those ideas that were proposed. You can post 
your idea to improve the product of Dell, and then you can vote. And the most voted, magbabubble up yun, no? Sa, sa pinakataas na ano. And that will be an indicator na, okay, this is the most um, uh, voted idea, pwede natin siyang i-execute. So that's another practice of Dell, right? And last but not the least, who can uh, who can forget Google's 20% time? In a Google's 20% time, Google is uh, asked, you know, to spend 20% of their time in projects that they believe, you know, they can improve, uh, they, they believe in, that's outside the scope of their day-to-day work. And, um, you know, you can, you can pursue that idea. Ang maganda neto, hindi ina, ano, hindi eh, nirarait away ni, ano, ni Google yung intellectual property. So anything na magaling sa 20% time is going to be Google's intellectual property. But you're encouraged to spend 20% of your time to pursue your passion project outside your scope of day-to-day work. Um, anong impact ng Google's 20% time? Well, ito lang naman, ang mga lumabas sa kanya is ano? Ang lumabas sa kanya is si Gmail, si Google Maps, si AdsWord. Yan. Sabi nga rito, 20% of Google time, uh, employees can spend working on ideas and projects that interest them. 50% of Google's products that originated from 20% time, yun nga, yung ad, ads, uh, Google Maps, and Gmail. Diba? So... That's the ano, that's the principle behind these practices is this. Ito yung pinaniniwalaan ng mga CEOs ng mga company na ito. We want every brain in the game. Si Jack Welch, sabi niya nga, I I already paid for the brains of my people. I just don't I don't want simply their hands to bring to the to, uh, that they bring that to the work. I want them to bring their brains as well because it comes for free. Diba? So we want to tap that brain power of our team. And so far, so good. Uh, align ba ba tayo? Yeah. Yes. Thank you so much for that. All right. So uh, there's a book written, uh, How Breakthroughs Happen. Okay. And the fundamental principle behind we want every brain in the game is this. Okay. The myth kasi, uh, when you talk about innovation or an innovator, we think of the lone genius. But si Andrew Hagedorn, he wrote a book entitled How Breakthroughs Happen. Ito yung sinabi niya. The notion of the lone genius laboring away in the basement lab to invent the future is by now, one should be all be free about uh, free of. Innov- innovative firms succeed not by breaking free from constraints of the past, but instead, ano daw, they are harnessing the past and then they are creatively applying it in new ways. We build on the innovations or the inventions of the past. Okay, Like, for example, Grab na lang. That's a very clear example. The, uh, the, the, the transportation is already in existence. Diba? And then Grab built on that. Airbnb, the hotel industry, it's already in existence, but they were able to find a way to create a new space. And of course, syempre, Starbucks. So the point is that uh, itong gusto natin sabihin, the result of is an innovation process that's driving smaller bets by building future from what's already in existence. So innovation really is a recombination of things. Yun nga actually, ang tawag doon ni Andrew Hagadorn is technology brokering. It's all about being organized around a process of recombination of old ideas rather than invention. Now, to be an innovation network as an organization, we know, imagine that that the people we employ with or we work with, they already have certain experiences na hindi natin na-experience. And imagine creating a platform where they can contribute that idea with another one, and that's how we generate new ideas by combining the brain power of everyone inside our organization, as uh, exhibited by GE, as exhibited by um, IBM, even Dell tapping the customers. Okay, so uh, ito yung pinaka ano niya, how uh, innovation happens. You get an idea from industry A. 
there's a product from industry B and there's a concept from industry C and then you pick uh, things from there and that's how you create breakthrough innovation in industry D. Diba? So think of, ano, think of chop suey. Diba? You get different uh, vegetables but you're able to come up, you combine them, you know, this one might be applicable here, this one might be applicable here, this one be applicable until you eventually found a new product or you, you exercise breakthrough innovation. Okay. So, uh, a clear example neto is Waze. Yan. Ano, ano ba ang uh, innovation na ginawa ni Waze? Ano ba yung recombinant, uh, ano ba ginawa niya technology brokering? Okay, yung smartphone, kinumbay niya with GPS, kinumbay niya with digital maps, tapos yung cellular system, yung mga networks natin, yung infrastructure, and then social networking idea, and then the internet, and then bam, you have ways. Right? So the lone genius is really a myth. It's not, we cannot innovate na uupo lang tayo sa isang lugar uh, sa isang pwesto na tahimik at mag-iisip ka lang, yes, that will work, sure. Or we can view our enterprise as a source of ideas and our workmates, our teammates, they have, uh, they're a fountain of experience and uh, concepts. And then getting a, situ- uh, 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 a program or a platform where we can contribute those ideas and come up with something new. No, kaya network eh. You know, we are really a network. Yes? Okay, so let's get practical. How do we uh, no, how do we apply this in our day-to-day operations? I will provide four E's and then we'll open the floor for conversation. Okay, the first one. As CEOs, as team leaders, we have to equip our people. We can't expect them to be innovators if we're not providing them the tools and the trainings needed to innovate. Ba? So it's it's unfair na parang, oh dapat, sabi dun sa napakinggan ko sa principles of scaling, dapat mag-innovate tayo as a company. But there's no training, there's no um, a program where they can harness their creativity into something that can, uh, that something that they can put in paper. You know, so we have to equip our teammates, our entire company to become uh, innovators. So after equipping, of course, we create platforms. We enable them. There has to be a program in our company where they can contribute the ideas that they have. You know, the I believe the only idea that is completely worthless is the one that isn't stated. I truly believe that. Now, if we have an idea, there has to be a venue where they can express that idea. At yung, abs- yung idea that's absolutely worthless, it's the one na hindi sinasabi. You know, sayang, di ba? Andyan yan eh. I mean, the, the, the team that we're working with, they have plenty of ideas already. I'm sure. Because they're the ones in front, lalo na sa frontliners. Because they're the one interacting with customer. Eh. So, and our customer are a wealth of ideas for improvement. They're actually a source of innovation. So we have to create a, a platform where people can uh, contribute their concepts, their experiences, and whatnot. So after enabling them, we expect, right? And uh, and dito ba si Mel? I'm not sure if Mel is here, no? Uh, in passing, we had that conversation na uh, sabi niya, I, I need to, ano, I need to accelerate na yung isang light product line niya, no? yung, yung cacao mystery. Kasi sabi niya, I need to keep uh, creating, I need to keep innovating eh. Yeah. And that's that's the mindset of CEO. Na hindi, oh, ito, ano na, ito, okay na to, no? Uh, hintayin kong malaos itong product na to bago ako mag, ano, mag-launch ng bago. But no, I mean, I'm constantly churning new products, right? And si, I, I love si Seller Subs here, no? Isa sa scorecard nila is to generate uh, new ideas, at least mag-test ng tatlo para yung isa doon magiging uh, breakthrough product that transform lives. So it's installed, it's systemized. 
yung expectation that people will be able to contribute ideas and then measure it. Okay, bila ano natin o oh, ilan na bang mga bagong product na na-produce natin? Okay, there has to be a certain expectation that by this time um meron na tayong bagong nagawa. Okay? So Motorola to force function them, ginagawa nila back then no, is they obsolete the last uh, the the last uh, uh, innovative product nila so they are forced to create a new one. And next, the fourth E is empower, reward. Okay. If there's an idea that uh, that has a uh, influence or impacted the organization or may good idea yung isa, let's support that. You know, let's support that by providing the funding, the mentoring, or the resources needed to pursue that idea. But he, here's the thing, you know, when it comes to innovation, it's a, it's a, ano, there's a power law. Diba? 1,000 products or 1,000 ideas uh 100 doon ng ano 100 doon ang pwedeng i- really valid you know and then 10 doon ng sa 100 10 doon ang really pwedeng i-test and then one or two ron ang breakthrough so you have to keep uh generating new ideas and then keep testing it cuz you know market is king all right so far so good please type so good if you are still with me ayan Thank you so much. <laughs> there. Okay. All right. In closing. Okay. In closing, ito yung ano, we, when we talk about innovator, lalabas si Steve Jobs. Diba? Yan ang mga ko. Ah, si Steve Jobs is an innovate, uh, innovation genius. Pero this is coming from him. Sabi niya, innovation, or kailangan pag innovate, uh, innovator ka, marami kang pera. You know, may malaki ang PC, mahaba ang PC mo, marami kang budget. And so on. But here's Steve Jobs saying that innovation has nothing to do with how many R&D dollars you have. Diba? When they were able to bring out Mac, diba? sabi niya, IBM was spending at least 100 times more. So it's not about the money. It's about what daw? Please type. It's about what? It's about the people that you have. Second, how they're led. Because there are management practices that stifle innovation. Diba? There are management um, programs that really hinders a new idea to see the light of day. So Steve Jobs is saying, it's not about the money. It's about the people and how they're led and how much you get it. How much you get it, meaning I know my team has plenty of ideas. Na ang tanong na lang, am I utilizing them? Am I maximizing them? Have I created programs that gives them a platform where they can share what they have in mind? Do, do I give them that sense of free space where they can try and experiment their idea to test it out? You know, And if they fail, do I reprimand them for a mistake, for a failed experiment? Or do I reward them and um, tell them na, okay, that's a, that's a, it's a nice try. You know, I, I, Errol uh, was, I was talking to Errol yesterday for our recording sa CEO Insights, no? And we both aligned na, for us, there's no such thing as failure, only feedback. You know, you either win or you learn. And for us, failure is the day you stop trying. That's when you fail, no? Because experiments never fail. Diba? Experiments never fail. Kaya nga experiment. Eh. It, it's supposed to test out uh, an idea. And then we refine it. And then we improve it. The only time we fail is when we stop trying altogether. Right? So here's my uh, closing uh, statement for everyone. The question, what key insight made you think deeply? And what key action are you going to do this week? to turn your company into an innovation network.